Hey guys, today we're going to be talking in detail about how to set up our media. We have seen this in the past that our media is unorganized. Your movie collection, your pictures, your audio content scattered all over the places. So today we're going to be talking about a clean setup using the media service and I'm going to be giving you two options. I'm going to be splitting this video into two parts. One is how to build up a Plex server with a Plex client on your HTPC setup. And the second video would be about how to uh, set up a free NAS server with a Plex server on it and use Chromecast or any other client to stream media on your TV. So for both these setups, I have gone for a quite and uh, energy efficient setup. So my motherboard that I've used is the uh, Gigabyte E350N Win8, which is a fused technology of both the APU and the motherboard so you have your CPU dual core 1.68 gigahertz with a graphics card of 6310 HD Radeon with the motherboard all three fused together and I have um, a hard drive that is one terabyte so two options for organizing your media okay guys so we are at the Plex Dot .tv download section because we're downloading the Plex Media Server. Um, the first thing that you see once you come to the downloads page is that it gives you an option to download for your computer and NAS. So since this video is about the computer and uh, therefore we're going to be clicking on computer and once you click on the computer section you have different platforms for which the server can be downloaded and installed. So it is supported on these platforms, Mac, Windows, Linux, and FreeBSDs. Okay, so I have Windows 7 and I'm gonna download the English version. So the Plex server downloaded, I installed it as well. The installation steps are very simple. I'm very quickly going to show you on the client phase as well because it is supported on multiple platforms starting from your mobile apps to your smart TV and gaming consoles to your home theater system right it's the home theater system which is HTPC uh, which I am configuring right now with you guys so I've downloaded it for my Windows 7 so the client is downloaded as well. So as soon as you install it, you would see that come up on your notification bar. So you just right click, click on media manager, and this is what is present. It goes through an IP address and opens up. So this is on your network. So I read the terms and condition, which, never, which nobody does basically. So you'd agree. Plex Pass is a paid kind of a service that allows you to do a few more advanced stuff. But the free version really works fine if you are working on you know, your home network. Within a network, it allows you to share your media on any of the devices that I've already spoken about. Plex Pass allows you, allows you to share it with friends outside your network as well. The interface is uh, very simple. Okay, on the left hand side you see it says, okay, that's what I named my PC, so Musa PC. It allows me to configure stuff here. And uh, you have your account details here, and then your settings. So, I'm just, so how do I configure and set up my media, right? That's the first, very first question. So all you need to do is click on the plus sign here on the left and then it tells you what kind of a media do you want to set up so I don't have any movies on this PC it's just set up right now so I'm just gonna say home videos uh, it tells me what's the name do you want to call it as home videos what language right. browse the media folder now you can add the entire directory with all the folders here so it it scans all the media content within that and now as you have selected video, it's going to look for all movie uh, movie formats. So in this case, I'm just for demonstration purpose, I selected a drive, right? And I hit add library. And what it does is uh, very quickly, it refreshes 
as you can see it refreshes and pulls up all the data that is on that hard drive. Now the good thing about this is it allows us to organize media based upon format. My oh god, that looks horrible. So, right. I am installing the Plex Home Theater on the same um, PC where I have the server and we have it configured. So now the Plex client it signs into my account because I'm already signed, signed it. So that's me. I hit enter. It asked me a pin. Put the pin. Right, you set up your own pin. And that's about it. Your movies and all that is available here to search from. Since I don't have anything to demo with you, you won't see a lot. Channels is one thing that I really wanted to bring up here. This allows you to go ahead and also watch content from the net online, like YouTube. You will not see anything on my screen because I'm not subscribed for any. So it gives you all the content details about the specific video you're trying to open up from what resolution to what audio channels it plays, cast information, director, audio details, subtitles, and some basic information about the movie if it does have some. Okay, so, so that's a wrap. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave comments to see more. Till the next time, take care.